Hello, I'm Al Warren, and this is my channel. Hi. I've been wanting to make a video on how to catch bait. And, uh, there's several ways of catching bait. One... Oh, no, never mind. Oh, we're getting ready to check our pinfish trout. Like I said, you guys that likes to spend all morning long catching fish or bait fish, that's fine. No, I do it the lazy man way. That's a good little trap. It's kind of messy, but hey, you're going you gonna to get messy throwing that catch. Key West pinfish traps. And the way it works is you take the chum bag and you put it in this section right here. This comes open. You can put you some chum or dead fish heads or anything that a uh, pinfish will chew on. Go after. Put it in there. And you close it up. And the pinfish will... Go, what they'll do is, is they'll go and these holes right here, these holes, and then they have to swim up, swim up in there, that little hole right there, and then once the pin fishes up, they're just swimming around. They don't like to swim back down. They like to stay up. So that finding that hole to get out, that little bitty hole there, is hard to do. This is this has got two weights on it, two uh, four ounce weights. And you take a you take a buoy and you hook it onto here and you just drop it in your any grass flat. Uh, I like to drop it on on my way out. What I really like to do. So in the morning time you 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 uh, check your pinfish trap, get your pinfish, then you go fishing. Come back in and you uh, check it again. And any baits in there, then you bring it back to your little fish hotel that you leave at the dock. And uh, next morning you got pinfish there. Plus on the way back out, you check your, your pinfish trap on the way back out, and you might have more pinfish. But uh, this is this is this is a good way to get your pinfish, and uh, I'll show you. Here is a, a another method of catching bait fish but I use this most of the time to catch my ballyhoo because I'm usually chumming or uh, I got my chum bag out for the uh, for I don't know yellowtail or I'm just reef patch fishing most of the time I, I'm, I got my chum bag out reef patch fishing that's what I'm usually doing but this is a this is another method of uh, catching bait fish or ballyhoo or uh, google eyes if you're good enough to catch google eyes most of the time you have to use a sabiki rig for the google eyes but there's a couple ways to putting it on you can put it on that way which I like to do because this way is safer if you throw the cast net out and you run it over with a trolling motor or you even run it over get it hung on some rocks and the boat keeps going forward because of the current it comes off now, some people like to do it like this. And they like to put their hands in there just like that. Well, guess what? You're going in the water. If it gets hung on the rocks, the boat keeps going. So, I like doing it like this. You, now, the only thing about this is, when you throw the net, you got to hold your hands like this. Keep it from going in. But basically, all you do is get you a couple of loops. Just like this. And grab the horn. Just like that. I like grabbing it right about there. It's the first time. Make sure you ain't got no tangles because you can't tangle it. And uh, you come down right about to your waist, right about here. That's what you want to do. All right. 
roll it in. Now my method ain't the perfect way. I, you know, everybody likes to throw a cast net. It works good for me. And uh, you don't put the lead line, lead line in your in your mouth. Worry about your teeth getting yanked out. And plus you're loaded, you stay loaded the whole time. Or you can stay loaded the way I do it for like 10 minutes, depending on how strong you are. Just like this, lay it, lay it over. Then you take the lead line, the outside lead line, just like that. And you put it over here, you pinch it. Now, you're ready to throw. This one's a little tangled. You're ready to throw now. You grab this line right here. Now here's the trick. You want to let your finger here, you want to let the, the net pull it out of your hand. You want to come down just like this with it, with it just like this, and let it pull it out of your hand. I'm going to see if I can't do it for you. Now watch me. I'm going to pull it out of the hand. I'm going to throw it and pull it out of my hand. Ready? Just like that. Now, so that, that's a pancake, what they call a pancake. Uh, it's a little off, but that's, that's close. Ballyhoo. <laughs> Look at these ballyhoo when you bait. Now, this is an 8-foot net. It's a 3-8 mash. And here's the important part for you, if you're going to buy one. I got one pound of weight per radius foot. So, that means this, this net is going to weigh 8 pounds. If you get a net, that's the light. This is the lightest net that I would buy. If you get a net that's got three quarter pound, you're gonna have to be in some really shallow water to catch bait because this net sinks fast. Is it, it's got to sink fast to catch the bait. If you got a, a net that weighs 1.5 pounds per radius foot, that's a heavy net. And if, if you're a young person, you like throwing a lot, you're strong and all, you're okay. I say go ahead and get it, because that net is going to sink fast. You're going to catch more bait than the other guy with a one-pound radius foot. But a guy with a, with a net with three-quarter pound radius foot, I'm going to catch more bait most of the time than he is, because his net is not going to sink that fast. So one more time. Loaded. Just like that, it's all in one hand. I'm right here, I'm holding the net just like this the whole time, looking for bait, I'm looking for bait. So now I grab, I see bait. I see bait right over there. So I grab my, I grab my lead line. Remember, let it pull it out your hand, just like, just like that. So that, that's a. Well, I hope you like the, uh, video I showed you on how to catch bait. It's the cast net and the Key West pinfish trap. And uh, like, well, I just want to say this is the way I catch bait. I mean there's guys out there that's been doing it a lot longer than I have and, and they're a lot better than I am at it. And uh, But this works for me. That works for them. Find, find your way that you know how to catch bait and, and go with it. Uh, whatever works for you. Get it. As long as you get bait, that's the main thing. You also have these sabiki rigs here. We can, you can catch them on that. But uh, it uh, saves you a lot of money. Uh, Ballyhoo's expensive. And uh, even pinfish, you start buying them at the store every time you go out to go fishing. You're going to be spending a lot of your money on bait so uh yeah so i hope you like the tips i gave you and uh remember if you like my videos 
remember to subscribe and if you like it like, hit the like button and uh, I, I try to do one a week lately I've been doing a little bit more one a week I don't know if y'all noticed but uh, yeah. right now we're in the tackle room I'm, I might need a I think I might do a video on the tackle room one day but in about three weeks we're going to be coming up and going uh, going to Cujo or Cudjo Key and we're going to be doing some lobstering and some more my hopefully get out there and do some my fishing this last week before last we really couldn't get out because the seas were so bad but we're going to try to catch some lobsters and uh show you how we do that and and hopefully get some my so see you in a couple of weeks in Cujo Key and I, and I might make another 